Hey, hi, 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 talking about the music again. This one is the music from when I'm starting um, my college year, and then it goes into the summer, and then my sophomore part of my college year. Okay, so let's see. Always wanted to be on the cover of the Rolling Stone, and that was by Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. Where are these guys now? I don't know. They're probably sitting in front of a YouTube making something. They're all fat and sassy. Who knows? <laughs> I'm guessing. All right. So what else? Um, Dueling Banjos. Big hit because of the movie Deliverance. And there was a scene in, in Deliverance where this little boy kind of looks like he has some challenges. You know, I'm saying it politically correct. But he's playing. He's picking. He's picking. I think he's picking a 12 string. I'm not sure. But he's picking a guitar. Or I'm um, excuse me, a banjo. And then on the other side, they're like, da 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 there's two guys playing and they're actually banjos dueling each other and it is an epic music scene in a movie i mean like you could just skip the whole movie if you don't want to see all the gross stuff but that music is worth it you know so anyway that came out that year um let's see um okay four tops okay so you know my prom night i went to see the four tops at the copacabana with everybody you know at school and everything that was awesome but this song was Ain't no woman like the one I got. You know they don't come better. I, I warned you about my singing. <laughs> and then on Soul Train, which was a big popular TV show, it was kind of like an answer to American Bandstand. They had Soul Train. And I kind of liked it because it was like funky. You know, I watch American Bandstand, but I watch Soul Train too. And there was a group on there called the Stylistics, and they said sang a song, and they sang a couple, but this one was that year, it was a breakup to makeup. Hello, toxic behavior was sewn into our society so much that we sang about breaking up to makeup. <laughs> it's there, it's right there. <laughs> okay, and then you had a band called, it was Tony Orlando and Dawn, and then it turned into Dawn. It was this Tony Orlando and two women singing and the, as the backup, and they sang, Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. And the song was basically about a guy coming home from, I don't know, it wasn't clear if he was coming home from war or from incarceration, but he knew if he saw the yellow ribbon on the old oak tree that his sweetheart waited and wanted him still. So it's kind of a sweet song, but still kind of bubblegummy. <laughs> Okay, so you had this other band. It was awesome. It was like they had great hits, but this one I remember particularly. And the name of the band was War. <laughs> and they sang, Cisco Kitty was a friend of mine. <laughs> okay, now, nope, Donny Osmond, he don't let you down on the bubblegum side. He had a song up. The Twelfth of Never. I'll love you till the Twelfth of Never. Cute song, cute lyrics, and there's something to be said for bubblegum. There's just something. It's always part of the world. Okay, now back to Jim Croce from the year before. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. Okay, so Jim, you could, Jim Croce had a, a finger on some kind of weird part of personalities. It was great. Okay, now talk about toxic. This guy was Charlie Rich, and I think he sort of had like a country blues kind of background. And he sang, no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. What? Is this like, um, a license to cheat? <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about music. Okay, now, here's a song I used in my parental, maybe ability or disability, I'm not sure. But I say to my kids, what does Mick Jagger say? And I would do this when they were whining, just whining. I mean, not, it's not like, you know, they need something. But when they were whining, nah, 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 and I'd go, what does Mick Jagger say? And they're like, at first they would go, what? Right? And I'd go, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> but you can try sometimes. You just might find you get what you need. Kids hated it. Say, Mom, shut up, shut up, shut up. And now, well, not now, but I mean, as they grew up, all I'd have to look at them and say is, what does Mick Jagger say? And they went, <laughs> and now I do say it to some of my friends' kids, and they're like, oh, no, she's going to sing. <laughs> you can't always get what you want, but you can try. <laughs> and that was, uh, that was April of that year. 
Okay, and then Bette Midler started coming out with some really good songs, and she was trained by the best teachers in New York and everything, but she came out with a remake of a song from the 40s, The Boogie Woogie Boogle Boy from Company B, and the music video for that was all the 40s stuff, and it was it was kind of funky cool, you know? It was a good song. Okay, and um, then you had a song by a band called Deep Purple, and it was Smoke on the Water. Now, dudes, what do you think they're singing about? Okay, that drug culture seeped into everything. And so, like, there's this little um, glass, <laughs> and it's filled with water, and there's smoke. And somebody's over there going... So, you know what I mean? It was just part of the culture. And if you were, like, anywhere to listen to music, because it would play over the loudspeakers, it would play in the elevators, it would play, you know, anywhere and everywhere there was a radio or anything. Smoke on the water. <laughs> we didn't have a chance! <laughs> okay, so there was this, remember I told you about the Poseidon Adventure, and there's got to be a morning after... And that was for the Poseidon Adventure because they had the big crisis during the night when the ship turned over, blah, 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 blah. And the morning after is the rescue. But that song just stuck on you. Ugh. You know. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I'm jumping around just a little bit. And let's see. Um, Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. It's like, yeah, this is a dance song, a slow dance song. Let's get it on. <laughs> Oh, you just no chance, man. There's just no chance. And okay, um, now you had a band that was called the Doobie Brothers. Hello, <laughs> the culture was just there. The Doobie Brothers, right? And they sang China Grove. And from my memory and from what I knew, there was a neighborhood, and I don't know if they were singing about this or not, but there was a neighborhood in Florida area called China Grove, and there was like a lot of hippies, post-hippies, tie-dye shops, head shops, um, and, and, and crazy counseling offices, and all this alternate lifestyles of, you know, living off the grid, and all that in China Grove. So, I, you know, Doobie Brothers, China Grove, yeah, it's still affecting us. <laughs> We really didn't have a chance. Okay, so if you did have a chance and you wanted to get away from it, there's another song for you. The Almond Brothers, which I love the Almond Brothers. Lord, I was born a rambling man, trying to make a living and doing the best I can. No, I, I don't, I think the gender's not important. I think we were all rambling then. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm back at school. And the first song I hear when I go into the um, cafeteria, Angie by the Rolling Stones. And it just stays with you, Angie. And that was uh, September. If I hear that song in September, I am physically in my mind back at Fairleigh Dickinson University. Angie. All right. And then Bob Dylan, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Now, I'm not real sure because Bob Dylan always had this sort of a, a message to him, like behind the music. So I'm not real sure where he was coming from. Uh, you may want to look that up. I'm not real sure. But it was a great song. Okay. And Gladys Knight and the Pips, she sang this on Soul Drain. He's leaving on the midnight train to Georgia. Breakup song. Make you cry. Beautiful song. Okay, so here I'm going to come down. I'm trying to go fast to um, Steve Miliband. Steve Miliband, song in Florida. Oh, my God, great. So he sang a song, um, The Joker. All right, and I'm going to try to get these words right. I'm a joker. I'm a, wait, let me start over. I'm a picker. I'm a grinner. And I'm a, yep, see, I blew it again. Okay, I really can't sing this song, but it, um, I, it says, um, I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker, I get my loving on the run. <laughs> There's another part of the refrain that, that, that the, the guy used to sing kind of to me, but maybe not. He just loved the song too. It was like, I really love your peaches. Want to shake your tree. I was like, you know, I would bust out laughing because when you hear Steve Miller sing it, it's just sort of like my achy breaky heart. It just stays in your head, you know? I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight. <laughs> okay. Now, John Denver had a lot of great hits, and I'm going to finish up this year with the one about John Denver. I and mean, there's a lot more songs, guys. I'm just pulling out the ones I, I really liked. Um, Annie's song. 
and you fill up my senses. Oh my gosh. I, I wanted to I wanted to drive away to wherever he was singing that to. And I think a lot of us did. We we were sick of what was going on in the world and we wanted to escape. And there was a great exodus of people that started to kind of go live more on communes, more leave the grid a little bit, more just depart from stuff and start trying to eat natural and just start that exodus of Ugh, we don't like this. We're going to move to that. So, you know, all the people now that think they're being really cool by doing this stuff, we tried too. And we did. Okay. Let's see what else that year. If I could take time in a bottle, Jim Croce, tear jerking song. So I'm going to say, and the last one came from a movie. This one is the last one of, of this video, The Way We Were by Barbara Streisand. Uh, even this day, I the way we were you know anyway i love you guys thanks for putting up with me singing and this was fun i'm gonna do another one on on with the history i'm loving it love you guys